Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to yet another Farming Simulator 19 Mod Contest Spotlight where today we're going to look at some more tippers. I'm kind of in the tippery mood. Uh, or this time, because I'm going to be spamming these out as quickly as I can. So, it's a double pack. It's the Autosan D50 and D55 pack. Let's see what you can do with these. Oh, you can... Oh, why would you want green rims? Why would you ever want green rims? Like... I actually kind of like this shade of grey. It matches in with the tires quite nicely. Uh, you can change the main colour to hideously orange, hideously red. I like that shade of red. It shall stay. Um, I can no longer, for some reason, because the design colour. Um, can I make this like a slightly... No, I don't want it to be hideous. I've unintentionally made something that I, I'm not sure what I think of it anymore. So you can make it a bale loading wagon with one side open and... I'm not too sure what to make of the floor. It's a bit odd that it has... How's oh, the reinforcing struts? That's... a very interesting way to do things. I kind of like that now. Uh, 4950, 7960, 9900, 15500. This is blatantly for silage. Um... And we'll get 9900 with a cover. Actually, without a cover. That's the D55. The D50 is going to have probably the same there. And this only goes up to 9900. So we'll get it in. We'll get it as a bale loading wagon. Have a look at them both. Um. <laughs> Whoever designed this has clearly seen how I deal with cables. Uh, the hydraulics are in um, what I would consider human who knows what organization is but doesn't quite like using it. Uh, that style of organization. That is a very disorganized bit of organized chaos. I approve. Um, tires are just on the ground. Quite nicely done. I'm actually liking the design of this. I'm not, however, liking the dolly. <laughs> and the giant springs that aren't very well modeled because they would have taken way too many bodies um, to, to model accurately as springs. That's one of those times where I'm just like, yeah, just when I, uh, I'm fine with modders cutting a corner when it's a spring because the polys, oh my god, the polys. I really like how the disorganized mess just suddenly becomes really nicely, nice and neat when you uh, attach it to the tractor. And the, they turn pretty well. I'm, I'm really liking these trailers. Again, like I said, looking at the Beersma, there's not a whole hell of a lot I can say about trailers. Um, really, it's a case of... Oh, hang on. Can... Du... Time for Dave's dumb ideas. Because this is technically the same trailer as the one that can tip. So, will it tip? No, it will not. Okay, can't tip that one anywhere. That makes perfect sense. I'm actually perfectly fine with that. So, this one is a grain trailer because it's not in the bale configuration. Will it tip? It's like, will it blend only without a blender? Welcome to the budget farming simulator version of will it blend? Will it tip? Yes, it tips. Invisible dust, don't breathe this. Um. It's a bloomin' nice trailer, so it is. I like it. If it wasn't a dolly, I'd probably use it. But because it's got a dolly, and this is just my own personal preference, because I've got a vendetta against dolly trailers, because I don't understand how they reverse. I'll probably never use it. Um. Yeah, I could... They're very similar to what Giants have made. So I can definitely see Giants making something like this. Um. Yeah, quite happy with these. 
I'm sure there's going to be plenty of people who use them and really enjoy them, but uh, they're dolly traders. They're they're not for me personally. Until next time, stay safe and goodbye.